You came here to learn how to make a map chooser, so let's make a map chooser. Yes, this is a guy based system. I don't want to make a brick based system like you see in those mini games. I don't like those. Those are free modeled. I want to do something different. Something that is actually worth doing. So I have here my screen guy. Yes. So how, what you what you want to do is put a screen guy into your starter guy. I call it guy, not GUI, because guy is shorter than saying GUI. And then you're gonna put a frame inside of that. I didn't do anything yet. There's my frame. Forget all these other GUIs. Let me delete those. So you won't get confused. See? Let me fix that out. And this is the only thing you should have. Okay. Yeah. Let's reposition this. I'm going to make it go to the middle of the screen. Um. Yeah. Just follow what I put in the in these size constraints. What do I want to put? Okay. Is that big enough? I don't know. Nope. Was it 15? No. I think that was 20. Whatever. Whoopsie. Boom. There we go. I'm just going to use custom. Not really. I'm not going to use custom. This time let's be fancy. Let me show how to make a proper GUI. You got your basic colors here. I'm going to make that red. You can make it blue. My favorite color is blue, so I'll make it blue. Eh. Making it a soft color. See, that's soft. Soft and white. Boom. Looks good. Now you're gonna want to put. In, what you want to do is. Ah, what you want to do is put in image buttons. Or or you could, because I don't have any images. Put in text buttons put image buttons in because I want to show off your map so let me just position this. this is actually pretty good position but for people who are on the phones you want to make these compatible five too big whatever five too small too big if anyone wants to help me on resizing guys, this is the only way I know how to. Just adding the absolute position and absolute size. I don't touch scale. I mean, not scale. I don't touch offset. Because it doesn't make sense. What am I going to be using it for? Five. I just use that. Boom. Right there. I'm going to make this easy on myself. Put that to that. Make this text color white. Boom, you got your button. Name it <laughs> Map 1 or Fortress of Solitude. Now for the script. <gasps> the script. Okay, so what you want to do is. Type script parent, script parent, which is the button that mouse button one down. Mouse button one down is if the player's mouse clicks it, it fires this event. Connect it to this function. That's your end. This is this is where your code will be. For our code, you want to. Okay, so values, values, values. Let's make some values in values in workspace. I'll tell you what those are later. I mean, not what they are, but okay, never mind. So we're gonna have bool value. This value tells player map tells the the main script if you have a mini game script or a hide and seek script or a sword fighting script or zombie script or whatever. We're gonna have this checked, and the game will check. Let's see if this is on. If this is if this is true, then it's gonna search through another set of variables. Find the variables inside. Like it, it just checks if it's a player. If there's no player, if no one bought a map, then it'll choose a random map. If someone did buy a map, 
and it's going to do stuff. That's what this variable is for. Now we're going to introduce a string value. Tag. There. I'm going to call this map. This value will be nothing. This will be false. Now, everyone gets a guy. Whoever had enough points. How will we check that? Right, that's easy. Let's go to. Let's define player first. Since this isn't is in player start GUI. I mean, it'll be in player GUI. I hope you know what that is. Script dot parent. It's just a text button. That parent which is frame. That parent which is screen guide. That parent which is the player GUI. That parent which is the player. Okay. Points or whatever you want to call it. Cash equals um points PTS. Player find ah oh, whatever. Later stats that points. Boom. Whoops. Let's put a find first child just in case something. Ah, whatever. This is simple as it's gonna get. Make sure your leader stats, your leader stats script works. I won't be telling you how to get those. You can make one that's very easy. You're just gonna have to put values into players when they get added to the game, basically. So points. Would the would the value be for each map? What would the value be for each map? To make this easier in ourselves, we're gonna put another value in here. We're gonna call it number value. Call it da 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 cost, which is zero. Now we want to set that to high nine nine nine. You can set it to whatever you want. Um, so points. Oops. Uh, price equals script. That parent which is text button. That parent which is frame. That cost the value. Now we're ready to get stuff started. The reason why we put this is in here because once it's clicked, we want to check if the player has amount of points. We don't want it to be outside because they'll be already defined. I think. Whatever. If PTS is more than or equal to price dot value because we need to find value in this variable uh, price dot value like if it is less than I like making things easy if it's less than or equal to price dot value whoops if it's less than yeah then return end which basically cancels the function that's all you have to know return end just cancels the function now if it didn't if it passed reacts Lua, Lua reads from top to bottom I think I'm not sure okay if okay if, if the pro points are are not less than price to value then we're gonna continue go to this line nine six what are we gonna type oh I forgot okay so you need to define that value remember this value in workspace so where are we at defining the variable okay play Player meep equals player map. Oops. Game dot workspace uh, player map. Yeah. So yeah, you we're gonna make that value true. It's true. So boom. So now whenever your main script checks. And we'll get to that later, maybe in a different video. I'm sorry, but I want to play a Roblox game right now. Okay. So, yes. We'll call this one. Where the heck? Oh. Here. One. And we'll have map, 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 player mp dot map dot value equals script dot parent dot name. Boom. So now this gets named map one. 
it's better to do this. It, it works. So say we have maps in workspace, almost paradise. We'll just name that one, map one. And then your main script would be like something like this. This is this is something you would sort of add in your main script. Function choose a choose map. If game dot workspace dot player map dot value equals false, then we're gonna choose a map randomly. Game uh, game. Maps was game that server store or h store server storage is like lightning and server storage you saw have these called maps put your maps inside of it I have number one only have one map in here so game that server storage and maps get children what that does is get everything inside of that model and if their map value equals oops false then maps and chosen equals maps map.random 1 to the length of maps and that's it chooses a random map from 1 to the length of maps boom else we're going to go to game chosen equal chosen equals game dot work oops so what am I do? okay yeah for store Fine. First, child game dot workspace dot player map dot map dot value. Boom. So if it, the value is enabled, then it will go to maps and find whatever is in player maps map value, which is one. So it'll choose this map, and then it'll move on to clone whoops so the clone is equal to chosen clone <sighs> clone dot parent equals workspace boom you just got your map and that's how map choosing works for me and I have this guy ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. see you guys later